Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about quality control for both um, fully automated and then semi-automated analyzer. And I'm going to break this video into a, into parts so that it's easy to um, follow. And quality control is one of the most important um, uh, topics that you are supposed to know when it comes to using uh, chemistry analyzers and mainly because of precision issues and one or two things that we'll be talking about in this video and so we'll try and make everything as practical as possible but just to give you an overview of what we'll be talking about um, in this part one we'll look at what quality control is and we'll look at terms like accuracy and precision we we'll also learn to calculate the mean standard deviation and coefficients of variation. Mm -hmm. We we'll talk about uh, control charts like the Levigeni charts, and then we we'll talk about control rules, specifically the Westgard rules, and then um, we we'll look at random errors, systematic errors, and how to um, solve them or go about them. And then we we'll also um, talk about quasi control samples we'll talk about the commercial ones as well as the uh, laboratory manufactured ones all these are very very important concepts uh, that we're going to talk about in this part series okay so um what is uh, quality control so quality control is basically a test that is carried out um, to assess the analytical phase of your system and so if you have a biochemistry analyzer, let's say a semi or a fully auto analyzer, what happens is that um, you want to um, know whether um, everything about the machine is operating the way it is. it has to operate so that the results that will come out is, are results that can be trusted. And so when we say QC, we are talking about um, an assessment, a test that you do to assess whether your biochemistry analyzer is okay, if that makes sense to you. So basically, that is about quality control. And why do we want to do this? We want to do this because when it comes to uh, biochemistry analyzers, we have an issue of precision. We don't have 100% precision. Yes, there is no 100% precision because of the optical system and then the absorbance and one or two things. You will not have 100% precision. And so um, from time to time, there's a need to test your system to see whether everything is in check. And basically, that is the concept of um, quality control. And sometimes the internal components and that go where until for example the light source can go dim and they will need replacement when that happens it means that your results are going to be affected because the uh, machine heavily depends on the light intensity that's produced you also have the filters and then the wavelength sometimes the reagents that you're using can also get deteriorated and lose their potency and when that happens it affects your results so um to make sure that everything that has to be um, uh, or anything that is involved in producing quality results is in check we do or we run a pro test to the main sample that you want to test and that's what we call quality control good so um, they are commercially available ones and then I'll quickly show you this is one I just uh, commercially prepared one from Mindry, so they come in a um, in, a, in a container that they are biofilized, and so you have to reconstitute them by adding DI water to it according to the manufacturer's instruction. Then you aliquot them into this form in Eppendorf tubes. Then you freeze them at minus ten degrees, so that it becomes frozen. So when you need it, you thaw it, and then you use it. So the control samples come with their own um, um, value sheet 
for the measurement so this control level one it looks like this so the control are basically the samples um, they are they mimic the human sample so they come with known values so let's say albumin they'll give you the expected value for the albumin and then also give you the standard deviation so when you run it on your machine you are supposed to get the same thing so when you get the same thing it simply means that your machine is running effectively so this is one from one mind read when you buy the reagent you can download this from online so it looks like this and then it has all the models of the mind read machine here so number one is the bs120 then it comes down to the most current one which is the bs 2800 m yeah so um we have each of the analytes that you are going to use and then let me show you this is for our woman so um let's see bs 120 so our woman in gram per liter so the expected value for this sample was uh, 31.9 and then the standard deviation is uh, 1.6 then this is uh, the range for three standard deviations from the mean so three standard deviations from the mean will give us 27.1 to 36.7 so you have this information you can also have it in micro mole per liter if that is the desired unit you want so all the analytics will be there and this control level one and so when you run it on your machine you're supposed to get the same value as this and that will in a sense validate your system before you run your sample so when you run your quality control sample and then it gives giving you something like that the same or anything around this then you know that your system is okay and then it will produce a quality result so this is the sheet you can get it from the mind rail site this control level one and then this is the lot number and then the expiry date so it's the same thing for control level two so that's about that so i'm going to show you how to input the values in the machine in the next video so we have for all the analytes alp alt it goes on and on and on this is for ast and on and on and on so um so basically that is uh, about quality control so this is the commercially prepared one sometimes you can also manufacture your own in the lab when uh, you don't have access to the commission need one and we'll be talking about that in part two of this video everything will be very 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 practical so um stay tuned and watch out for part two